Kings, ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary. So, I, I don't really uh, know how to start this video other than with hello ladies, gentlemen, and non-binaries because that's just kind of how I start my videos. Um, so, I'm working on some stuff right now for school. So, I figured I might as well, like, record myself like make some content out of it at the very least um so yeah um i don't really have a lot to say i'm sorry i've been so inactive life's been hitting me in the face with a stick lately <laughs> so not too long ago i got sick so that was fun and by fun i i like i really hope y'all know that I use the heaviest of air quotes when I say fun. So uh, yeah, got sick, that sucked. And just, life just been really hectic lately, so I'm sorry. Because <coughs> <coughs> still the bad cough, but I, I at least feel better. Um. So, I, I also haven't had a lot of ideas for videos, I apologize. Um, I mean, I've, I've been considering doing like a Q&A video, like, would you guys want that? Let, let, let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to do a Q&A video with my characters. Because I think that'd be fun, you know? Y'all send me some questions, and I try to answer them. Hi, Mom. Hi, what are you doing? Working on stuff and recording a video. Oh, sorry. Oops. So, a little cameo for my mom. Anyway. <laughs> if you guys want me to do a Q&A video because I think that'd be fun. Um, sorry, I don't really have a lot to say other than sorry for being so inactive. Um, I could just talk about random things. So, uh, speaking of random things, um, I... I'm not gonna specify where in America, cause you know, privacy, obviously, but I, I live in America and over here, we apparently at one point told one river, no, stay, and told another river, turn around and flow the other way. We have the money to do that here in America. Think about that for five minutes and tell me I don't wanna just walk into the ocean. Like, that, that knowledge hurts my brain. about the uh, thing. Apologies. Um, so, also, about this character I'm drawing, because ideas just kind of popped into my brain. Originally, it's just going to be a drawing for you guys to watch. Um, while I work, and then... I may or may not have started thinking of like a story in person, like at least a personality for this character. Why do I keep doing this? I create things like for fun and then I actually end up giving it personality. Why do I do this? Sorry, I really don't have a lot to talk about. Oh, right, the 
character, the character, sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, so I haven't given her a name, and I have a thing to let me know down in the comments, either. Um, so a thing to tell me in the comments, um, do you want a Q&A video? Because I'd be more than happy to. And secondly, um, what should I name this character? But anyway, to summarize this character's personality, basically, she's a Mary Sue, but the world eh, and the other characters treat her like how life and any sane person would treat a Mary Sue. Like, that, that's it. <laughs> Like, like, in the middle of a fight, she's like, I might be weak and hurt, but I have the power of my friends here with me, and everyone else is just like, dude, just shut up and hit him before we all die. <laughs> like, like, that's her personality. Also, speaking of which, one thing I want to do with this series like, in Awaken, is, like, to sort of take a lot, I know there's a lot of things to do, but, like, take a lot of, like, common tropes and make fun of them, because I always find that kind of content amusing. Like, I like it when content is self-aware, like, it points out a trope, like, when they do a trope, they point it out and they question the logic of it, like, how the audience is questioning the logic of it. So sorry I don't really have a lot to to say other than America has done things to rivers that hurt my brain. I'd like to do a Q&A video. I had some ideas of this character and what I want to do for the series. I'd also like to create more content for my characters in general, because like they're on my brain like constantly. And I do mean constantly. <laughs> Also, since I just had to type out his name and I got my own musical, um, someone who knows American history better than I do, um, out of curiosity, how accurate actually was the musical of Hamilton anyway? Like, how, how accurate was that? I kind of want to know. Anyway, not the point. Also, uh, let me know if you guys have any ideas of, like, fun little things I could do with these characters. Cause, like, I have a lot of ideas for a lot of memes I want to make. Like, I have a whole, like, playlist of audios I want to use with these characters. I, I still haven't done a lot. I apologize. I also want to create, like, other, like, fandom content. Cause, like... It's not just my bl the blurbos I created that take over my brain. There are other characters as well. Also, um, so thing that came into my mind brain was, um, you know that character Sundrop, you know the daycare attendant who ended up accidentally becoming a fan favorite. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so, third thing you guys, I want you guys to tell me down in the comments is, if you replaced Gregory in Security Breach and were helped by your favorite animatronic, what kind of shenanigans would go down? Anyway, so my brain kind of created like a sort of AU kind of thing where I end up in the daycare sort of in a similar situation to Gregory, but instead of being homeless, I just got stuck there after hours. And 
I have to find my younger brothers in the pizza place. So I wake up in the daycare, naturally greeted by sun drop, and we vibe at first, cause like I, I actively want, I actively wish sun drop was real, cause like I, like, like, come on, man, like he, he seems like he'd be so nice, he's so comforting. I'd even be willing to be. I'd even be willing to put up with Moon because my sleep schedule is a mess. Like during the day when lights are on, I have a playmate, and then when it gets dark, I have someone who can help me fix my sleep schedule. Anyway, Sundrop, then I'm like, no, I have to uh, leave the daycare to find my brothers. So I go to the security desk to try and grab a badge to get more access to try and look for them. Naturally, end up having to play hide and seek duck. So basically, end up have, I end up turning off the lights, and then as we all know, I get forced into a game of hide and seek, don't die edition. So, man should turn on generous. By the way, uh, I feel like we all kind of questioned this, but why did they put the generators in the play structures? Not only is that going to make it more difficult for the adult staff to get to them if there's an emergency, but also you're just leaving an active generator in the play structure for children to find. Ch children. Like, little tiny children. What? Seat Don't Die Edition, I turn on all the generators and turn on the lights, and instead of getting banned from the daycare, I just calmly explain my situation to Sundrop, and because Sunny is, you know, Sunny, he immediately sympathizes with my plight, and I can't get this thing to go away, hold on. <coughs> anyway. So, uh, because Sundrop is, you know, Sundrop, he sympathizes with my pl- Hi, and agrees to help me find my brothers. And if you're wondering, does the Sundrop suddenly become a threat when the lights go off and he turns into Moondrop? No, actually, because since Sunny D over here wants to help me, Moondrop is forced to put up with me and assist me when lights go out. So that's fun. Out of time. Thanks for watching. Bye!